Hello everyone and welcome to my Young and Restless official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. The Young and the Restless for Friday, October 25, show that Billy Abbott Jason Thompson and Jack Abbott Peter Bergman will commiserate. Things grew ugly between the brothers recently, but Billy will be eager to mend his relationship with Jack. Jack may provide updates on firing Diane Jenkins' Abbott Susan Walters, tossing her out of the house, and seeking an annulment. Jack doesn't need to be feuding with Billy on top of everything else, so Billy will instead back him. Of course, Jack and Billy will air their common concerns against Victor Newman Eric Braden, so there is the possibility of an alliance here. When it comes to facing the mustache, Billy and Jack may decide to support each other. Is the situation with Jack and Diane's failed marriage truly as bad as it appears? Despite Wyatt and R's efforts to sell this unexpected relationship breakdown, it all feels like a very sophisticated hoax. If Diane and Jack want to dupe Victor and Kyle Abbott Michael Mueller, they may have to go to extreme lengths. This includes duping individuals along the road, such as Billy and Tracy Abbott and Beth Maitland. Regardless, Victor will use a new revenge angle in Friday's Lie and R episode. Victor will then devise a plan to persuade Diane to join his side and exploit her resentment toward Jack to his advantage. If all of the marriage drama is a ruse, Diane may soon find herself pretending to aid Victor while actually assisting Jack and Jabbit. Our forecasts indicate that Diane and Jack may face some challenges so keep an eye out for any unexpected developments. Let us now discuss Phyllis Summers, Michelle Stafford, and the flames she will try to put out for Daniel Romilotti Jr., Michael Grezia Day. Phyllis will be in charge of restoring Daniel's reputation, but Sharon Newman's Sharon case frame-up may land him in hot water for a while. Sharon will have to find a method to either guide Phyllis in a different direction or eliminate her completely. It wouldn't be strange if Sharon wanted to remove Phyllis from the picture completely. According to the young and the restless teasers, Sharon will go to extreme lengths to keep Heather Stevens Vale Bloom's dark secrets hidden. Young and the restless implies that Lily Winters' Crystal Khalil and Nathan Hastings' Devin Hamilton Winters' Brighton James wedding to Abby Newman Abbott Melissa Ordway will include more than just seeing Dominic's family. According to Soap Opera Digest S.O.D., his biological mother and sister will also attend. According to the source, a family reunion will take place on the Wednesday, November 13 episode, which also marks the Soap's 13,000th episode, when Sheen Lawson, Yolanda Hamilton, and Anna Hamilton Lauren Lott return. Why and our spoilers remind readers that Lawson was last seen in GC in May 2023, and she previously played Harmony from 2005 to 2006. Meanwhile, Jamia Simone Nash played Anna Hamilton, who initially appeared on the canvas in 2008 and left in 2012. Lott was recast in the role in 2018 before leaving the program in 2019. Lawson is an executive producer, director, co-creator, and cast member of All Things Undone, a narrative science fiction podcast. Interestingly, it received the 2023 Webby Award for Best Scripted Podcast Series. Meanwhile, Lot has been busy lately, with a recent guest appearance on the seat of his all-American, homecoming, and a lead role in the film Praise This. She'll also appear on the show based on a true story, which will premiere on Peacock in November. In addition to Lot and Lawson, Brittany Sarpy will reprise her role as Alina Dawson for Wide and our special 13,000th episode. However, it is uncertain if Alina will return for the Dabby wedding or to cause trouble. After all, while Alina is Devin's buddy, she is also his ex. Is the daytime soap building up something hot between Alina and Devin before he gets married? Fans will need to tune in to find out. Are you thrilled for Anna, Anna and the Restless? Return. Jack Abbott, Peter Bergman, and Diane Jenkins, Susan Walters was having some public conflicts. They startled everyone in Geno City, 
and it's possible that more than just their marriage is ending. It might be a curated experience. Are Jack and Diane truly breaking up, or are they hatching a revenge plot? On The Young and the Restless, Victor Newman's Eric Braden master plot is to destroy Jabbit, also to demolish Jack's personal life. Victor intends to ruin Jack's marriage and family. Victor attracted Kyle Abbott Michael Mueller to Glissade and has used every opportunity to expand the divide between Kyle and his parents, which is working perfectly. Jack and Diane have been arguing in secret about Kyle, but never as bad as it has been in public. Diane is convinced Kyle stole the product from Jabbit, but they lack the evidence to prove it. Meanwhile, Jack and Diane have been arguing a lot in public, and there are always witnesses. Victor is observing and chuckling at times, while Nikki Melody, Thomas Scott, and Michael Baldwin, Christian Jules LeBlanc, Kyle, or Claire Newman Haley Aaron, Jack has even argued with Diane in front of Tracy Abbott, Beth Maitland, and her boyfriend, Alan Laurent Christopher Cussens. However, we haven't seen much of Diane alone with Jack lately, so we don't know what's going on behind their closed doors. Later this week, Diane returns home unhappy and informs Tracy that Jack told her to leave the mansion. Could these discussions be genuine? Or is it all a staged event designed to persuade Victor that his strategy is flawless? Granted, Kyle stole a product from Jabbit, but is that enough to shatter the bond between Jack and Diane? If Jack and Diane are conducting a plan, they would need to keep it going at home to ensure Kyle believes it. They could only rest behind closed doors at the office or in their bedroom at the estate. This week, Kyle tells Claire how upset he is by his parents' divorce and all of these dreadful public battles. And he appears to be upset, despite the fact that he is aware that he is contributing to their destruction. By Friday, Victor is persuaded that Diane's public disputes have stunned everyone and that Jack's marriage is in tatters, and he approaches Diane, hoping to recruit her to join him on the dark side. He may persuade her to cooperate with him, even offering to help her reconcile with Kyle. And this may be exactly what Jack and Diane hoped he would do. Diane may be a Trojan horse, and Victor is welcoming her into his private circle. Is this a trap? If Victor lets her in because he believes she has broken up with Jack, Diane will be able to obtain information that will assist Jack. Billy Jason Thompson, Lily Crystal Khalil, Audra Zulika Silver, and others in exacting revenge on Victor Newman. Even Jill Jess Walton is returning, and she intends to exact retribution. It remains to be seen whether Jack and Diane are actually on the verge of divorce, or are the two as strong as ever, united in a plan to teach Kyle a lesson and knock Victor down a notch, two or ten. Kyle comes out as an entitled brat who should value the privileges he's received at Jabbit. There were other ways for him to express his unhappiness than to betray the family business by going to a competitor and stealing from Jabbit. Victor may require a harsh takedown at this point, given how many people he has harmed in the past. He is currently targeting Chancellor's company, Jill Abbott, as well as his friend Neil's daughter, Lily. So many people are in danger. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe my channel and don't miss any updates.